look like a full-blown drug dealer today. Coming from you from Miami, eh? What's up, guys? It's Josh. Happy Monday. Uh, <clears throat> what I want to talk about today, uh, man, we are this close. So I put the website up. I'm not going to tell you guys the, the address yet because I, don't, I can't have anybody making orders because I don't actually have shirts yet. So uh, the website is up and live. If you can find it and go make an order, go do that. But... Uh, well, actually, don't do that because I can't even send you a shirt yet. So that doesn't make sense. I have to tell you guys: if you get a chance, go to my webpage or go to my go to my Facebook. Um, it's Joshua Katzel. Last name is spelled K-A-T-Z-E-L-E. -E. I think I've linked it to my blog. But if you get a chance, go look at the T-shirt that I made for my buddy Petra. I made this meme. I took a picture of him when we were sitting in a business meeting, and he just had this look of absolute disdain of just, oh God, why am I here? And I got the picture and I ended up making a meme out of it and just in large letters I put bruh on it. And that's just the way it sounds, it just sounds bruh, bruh. And uh, I was talking to him last night and we made this, I made this joke about how, you know, and I, I use it in, in conversations basically. So if I'm making a comment like, come on bruh, Come on, man! Like on, like on Sports Center. Come on, man! <clears throat> and so, uh, I used the meme in a, in a, in a conversational sense, and I told him I was going to make a shirt about it. And he was like, "Hey, cool story, bro. I'm going to bed. Tell me all about it tomorrow." And I put his picture on a T-shirt. I put this meme on a T-shirt, and then I just put it on Facebook and I make an offer. I'm like, "Hey, if I made these shirts, who would want them?" And all of these people started putting, and I said, I got, this, this might be serious. Oh my God, that's bright. I said, this possibly could be serious, but I need 25 orders to make it make sense. So sure enough, man, I've got orders streaming in right now uh, for this shirt, and I'm super excited. If you guys want it, it it's like the, the greatest inside joke ever. And so go to the blog, take a look at it, or go to my, go to my Facebook, take a look at the shirt, make an order if you want it. I'm actually gonna set up a website to fulfill orders for it so if you want it go on there take a look at the Facebook put your and in the comments uh, first add me as a friend and secondly in the comments leave the size and the quantity that you want because I'm guessing people are gonna want to start buying a couple of them and if it's big enough I'll make I'll make more if I need to but I absolutely love it it will be a dope states product oh shoot I said the website gosh darn it oh well it's going to be a Dope States product. Uh, I'm going to throw my logo on the back of it, and I'm going to end up making. Uh, I'm going to make it. So I found these. I found these great uh, clothing suppliers, uh, small batch suppliers out of uh, Brooklyn, and everything's handmade. Everything's hand stitched. So it's one of those things where everything will be made in the U.S. And that's one of the things that I wanted to. I should talk about is that all this clothing that I'm going to be coming out with. Everything will be made and sourced here in the U.S. Even if I have to charge more or if I have to, uh, if it costs me more, I'm not going to pass those costs on to the, onto my customer. Uh, I don't think that should be the customer's responsibility. I think the more that we support U.S. business, the more that we help, interna help international, the, the, the harder it cuts the legs out from underneath our own U.S. manufacturers. If we want prices to come down here in the, in the United States, if we want us to be competitive, we need to keep as much money here in the States as we can. I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, as the founder of Dope States, you know, that's one of the things that I will always do. I will always source my cotton, my craftsmanship, everything having to do with the t-shirts that I'm producing here in the U.S. And that's going to set me apart from any competitors that pop up. They're going to use shitty Chinese brands. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in making a quality product like this. You see this shirt right here? Nah, I can't even use this shirt. I'm pretty sure it's made in China. But, and that's a shame. I'll put up a picture on the blog as well of a company called American, I can't remember the name of it, but it's on my phone. I took a picture of the label. It's American something. And it's got a freaking bald eagle with it, with a with an American flag wrapped around it. And it, it's, it basically is just, and then the shirt is blue and white checkers, and it's got an American eagle with a flag draped around it on the lapel, or I mean on the on the pocket. It's embroidered. And the shirt's made in China. What are we doing? I mean, what's the point? Uh, I don't want to get into, you know, the politics of it and whatnot, but I'm just, you know, I'm, 
That's why I made dope states is because I wanted to tell people how proud I am of my country. I want to tell people how proud I am of my state and where I live. But I'm going to outsource all of the things, like, just for profit? Why? What's the point? You know, at, at, what's, at what expense? You know, yeah, you, you make money, but you're destroying your local economy, man. Everything that I do will be done locally. And if I can find a way to make it happen so that for every shirt that I print out of each of the states, if I can source them and create them locally, that's what I want to do. Uh, I don't know if that's physically possible on a... Uh, on an infrastructure level, in terms of if there's places in each each state that that make handmade shirts, uh, so I just don't know if that's possible. But if it is, that's what I want to do. God, this is going super long today. Anyways, five minutes too long. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. We got a lot of good energy coming forward. Uh, we're picking up momentum, and it's only going to get better. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, hustle crushes haters. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Have a good week, guys.